Windsor Food and Fuel Bank is a nonprofit organization dedicated to making sure that no Windsor person goes hungry, is cold, or without a basic need. Well, the qualification process is it goes through social services. Um, it's uh, contingent on uh, income, uh, number of people in the family, and then there's some uh, basic requirements that they need to meet along the way in order to get assistance. And that's for uh, not just fuel, but fuel, but for food and those basic uh, needs. The Food and Fuel Bank is a, a critical part of the community. Um, fortunately, we do have residents here in town that absolutely need assistance. And we can't have our kids going to school hungry. We know that that affects the their ability to retain information they learn, pay attention in school, food and fuel. I mean, that the combination is awesome because, unfortunately, it's been a really bad winter this year. Yeah, I know quite a few people who live right here in Windsor, Connecticut, who's working 40 hours a week and are not able to pay all their bills. You know, they might pay their rent. They might, they might buy food. After that, they have nothing. They have no money to pay the light bills, the this bill until next week or two weeks, depending on what they get paid. You know, so um, it's not just people who's sitting around doing nothing. You know, we talk about people who's working 40 hours a week and unfortunately not making the money. The average number of households for 2013 was in the 150 to 170 family range. Uh, this year, from uh, looking at the numbers, we're seeing that the numbers will be escalating. We're looking at somewhere between 175 to 200 families, of which a lot of these families are new and they're coming in just at the, we're getting anywhere between five and eight families on top of that probably 170 to 200 that we're seeing for this year. These are the unspoken, the, the, the um, I would say people, but you know, they're not humans the animals that are unspoken for because they also need to be heated and they need to be fed as well and you know if you don't have enough if someone doesn't have the money to fuel their home then they freeze and also you know they again need help with the food too. The Windsor Food and Fuel Bank budget has been affected by federal and state cuts there's a three-tier um, program first people go to CRT at the state level um, for fuel assistance, then they go to Operation Fuel, which has been drastically cut. And we're the third stop for help, so now people are coming to us sooner. So we have more people coming um, in, and as this has been a very cold winter, it's been very difficult for families. So it's important for us to raise more money to help more people. The Windsor Food and Fuel Bank is important because it um, provides this, this structure to enable people who are able to buy adequate food and able to afford uh, energy, um, oil, gas, electric. Um, it enables those people to share that benefit with people who are unable right now to pay for those things. It only takes, you know, not even, a, it takes a dollar to give five dollars for someone to get food. for. Um, for the food and fuel bank to buy food to put into the food bank. It doesn't take a lot for you to just, you know, go out of your way a little bit and just give back to the community. And just with that, you know, just think about Windsor Food and Fuel Bank when you decide you want to give back. I think the, uh, the thing that sets Windsor apart from a lot of communities is that this group is so dynamic that we're not willing to sweep under the rug we have residents that need help and we're out in the forefront with it you know, a lot of towns would rather kind of push that aside like we don't have people in need but we're out there and we're saying we do have residents that are in need and we've got this group here advocating for them and we found out during the snowstorm several years ago that people in Windsor do respond to people in need so I'm hoping that the food and fuel bank can get certainly through this winter for the fuel part and the fact that the food need is a crisis. It's a genuine crisis and it doesn't stop at any time. Unfortunately, it's getting worse. We have more clients now than we ever had before. So we've got to, until we can get the economy back straightened out, it's up to people within Windsor to help the residents within Windsor. You can go to our website at windsorfoodbank.org um, and learn more about us and how you can help. 
We also have uh, a community member, Linda Alexander, who's also a small business owner in town, who has decided to do a matching grant um, to help specifically the fuel needs. And if you go again to our website at uh, windsorfoodbank.org, you can learn more about that program. For more on information on whether you qualify or not or um, about the specific programs, you would contact the Windsor Social Services and that's at 860-285-1839. Um, and you could talk with someone in that department and they would be more than willing to help you.